Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be talking about a short, so I'm super excited to do that. And this short is called Feeling Good. It's directed by Pierre Attacks. It's written by Pierre Attacks. And it has this weird history because the short on IMDb, it says that it was released in 2010. But what actually happened is that it was part of a larger film in 1965. And then Pierre Attacks, the director and the writer, he cut it down to a short in 1971... I believe. Yeah, that's correct. And in 2010, it was released as like a reissue. So really, it's from 1971. But on IMDb, it says that it's from 2010. So there's a lot of weird nuances with this movie in terms of its history. But anyway, I enjoyed it. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great or anything. I thought it was just pretty good it was above average and it's like this charlie chaplin-esque comedy about this man trying to get into like a camp pretty much and eventually trying to get out of the camp so there's barely any dialogue uh there's only like one main character and most of it is just comedy so Let's get right into it. We start off right away with bad things, with some pretty annoying music right at the beginning. Like, every time he does something kind of funny, the music goes like... And it's really, really fucking irritating. Like, it's so annoying. I don't know who thought of that, but it's just... It's the worst. It's like, in Charlie Chaplin, there are no, like, weird oriental calliope fucking music when charlie chaplin like falls on his ass or whatever why would you put that in i just don't get it and it's it's one of the worst parts of the movie for me is just that the music is so so bad and it's kind of balanced out because it has good cinematography it doesn't have anything great or anything But the music is, like, way the fuck down here. And then the cinematography is, like, average. And the acting is, like, a little above average. The sound is okay. But it has, like, average editing, too. But I I suppose the good parts of it is that it's super, super simple. Like, the first five minutes of the film is just the main character trying to make a cup of coffee. And it's the best part of the film. Because he keeps failing at it over and over and over again. And it's pretty funny. Like, the film itself is pretty funny. It works as, like, a Charlie Chaplin silent comedy type deal. It doesn't always work in that way, but it works that way most of the time. So when it doesn't work that way, it falls a little bit on its ass. It's very well done. The comedy, at least. And... I I preferred when it was completely silent because when they start adding a little bit of dialogue, the dialogue doesn't add anything. It doesn't take away anything. It's just so bland and forgettable. I can't remember a single line from this movie. And it succeeds as a dumb slapstick comedy from a Charlie Chaplin type uh, Buster Keaton sort of idea. But it fails as a story. It does fail as a story. And another thing is the ending. It works. It doesn't work that great, but I love the ending shot. I think the ending shot is wonderful. I think it's so good. I love it a lot. So those are essentially all of my thoughts on feeling good. It's okay. It's not great or anything. And I'm going to give it a 63%. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.